Hello everybody, my name is Robert and this is Review Clue. Have you ever wanted to control your home kit and other smart home enabled devices without having to whip out your phone and open up an app? Or talk to one of those stupid smart assistants? I'm looking at you, Bigsby. Well, look no further than these things. NFC tags. NFC tags are an excellent way to get started in smart home and to control all of your devices through just the swipe of your iPhone. For this tutorial, you are going to need a few things. You're going to need an iPhone XR or higher. This doesn't work with the X or anything lower, unfortunately. The Shortcuts app. This is a free app created by Apple. If you don't have it installed already, go to the App Store and get that installed now. And three, an NFC tag. These come in all shapes and sizes. I'll leave a couple of links in the description to a few different ones. I went with the plastic disc here. Slightly more sturdy, but you will need some double-sided sticky tape. You can also buy stickers, cards and bigger tags as well. It's however you decide to run your smart home. And four, you are going to need creativity. Though I'm going to show you some really basic sh commands and shortcuts that you can use. The sky really is the limit here. So get creative and see what you can do. But of course, before we get into this tutorial, if this is the first time you're seeing my face on your screen, then one lucky you to go down there, smash that subscribe button, smash that bell notification icon, so you get notified every time I upload. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. All right, so here we are on my home screen. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is open up the Shortcuts app. This is free to download from the App Store. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and do that. I'll wait. Great. From here, we're gonna to have to go into our Automations tab and create a new one. That's the plus icon in the top right corner here. From here, we want to create a new personal automation. So let's hit that and scroll down until we see the words NFC. Next up, we'll need to grab our tag uh, that we plan to use and just hold it up to the top of the iPhone to give the tag a name. So we're gonna hit scan and name this tag. We're gonna name this tag review clue. Next up is where we get creative. From here, we can set any number of actions and even script different scenarios. For now, let's keep it simple by setting a HomeKit app and enabled light to turn on. We hit add action and search home. From here, we want to control our home. Click the set scenes and accessories and choose the scene or accessory that we'd like to control. In this case, I'll have the bedroom light. Hitting next, we can then decide on the state of this, either on or off. If we long hold, we can choose it to come in at a certain colour and at a certain brightness as well. So let's set that now. And hit done. And boom, you've just completed your first tag. Hit next. Ensure that you turn off ask before running, otherwise it will ask every time that you tap a tag whether you actually want to run this and it slows things down quite considerably. We're going to hit done and boom, that's your first tag complete. Now when I touch my NFC tag, we read in the top corner that review clue was detected and that it is running that automation. Okay, let's get more creative here with an if statement to toggle on an accessory on or off. I'm going to assume that at this point you've already got a tag and that you've already set it up. If you haven't done so, then go back and do so. So we're going to create a personal one, NFC tag, we're going to scan, call this one review clue two. And this time, when we get to the action screen, we're going to want to toggle an if statement. So add an action, scripting, if. For the input, let's choose select a home accessory. I'm going to go with that bedroom light again and hit, hit name and change that to is on. Hit the plus icon at the bottom of the screen to add another action. This time we're going to be turning the accessory off through the control my home, like so. So we can go back, search home, control my home, the hue lamp in the bedroom and set it off. 
So what we can do now is we can hold on this bottom one and drag it up into that if loop. Now let's add our second action, this time turning the accessory on. Once we've done this one, we can drag that one into the otherwise loop. So we're going to control our home, get that first hue lamp there, and set it to 100% on. Just grab that and drag it into the otherwise section, and that's it. Now we can toggle a light. Of course we want to disable ask before running, but now when I tap my tag, review clue 2 happens and we toggle that lamp on and off. Now that's all well and good, but what if our accessories aren't HomeKit enabled? Well, you can still control them to a certain extent, and I'll show you how I did that. For this automation, we'll be controlling your light through Smart Life. You'll of course need the Smart Life app and Smart Life Home uh, compatible accessories. I've got lamps and cameras and other wall outlets as well. So inside the Smart Life app, we want to create a tap to run automation. We can do this through the Smart section and click the plus button along the top. For the condition, we just need a launch tap to run. From here, we can decide to run the device, choose whatever we want to happen. So in this case, my desk lamp. We're going to set it to switch on when we tap this tag. We can set as many devices um, and different scenarios as we like. For example, we could set that office light to on as well. Hit next once you're done, and we can name this automation and save it something unique. So in this case, we're going to be naming it Test Automation. We can then save that twice, and we walk back to the Tap to Run screen. Next up, we need to add this automation to Siri. So we can see in the bottom right the Add to Siri button. Choose that, choose the automation that we want, and we can say whatever, but for now I'll leave it as Test Automation, and hit Add to Siri. Now let's head back into Shortcuts and Automations, scan our tag one last time, review clue 3. So this time we're going to add an action, but we're going to search for Shortcut. We can then run a shortcut, and in this case we're going to run that shortcut that we just created, which we called Test Automation. So let's hit Next, disable that Ask before running, and boom! Now when we tap that tag, RC3 now runs, which will set my lamps to on. It is also worth noting here that with these automations, you'll want to go to your All Shortcuts page and find that automation first, clicking those three dots and disable Show When Run. This will stop the phone from asking you whether you want to run this automation before it actually does it. For the last tutorial in this video, we're going to look at user input. For the purposes of this tutorial, this NFC tag will ask a user if they're doing washing or drying of clothes, and then setting a timer for the corresponding time. We'll set up our tag as normal, calling this one RC4. This time, adding an action, scripting, and we're going to choose from menu. From here, we can select a prompt which can be anything that we want it to be. Washing or drying in this case. We can then set each of those options. We can set as many as we want from this menu, but for now, we only need washing or drying. We then see that we have this if loop, basically, of washing and drying, so we can create a new action here. And we can, of course, go back, search timer, and we can start a timer for the allocated amount of time. In this case, it is 125 minutes. So 
two hours and five minutes. We can drag that into the washing section. And this time again, we can set a new timer, but this time for slightly longer. This time it's for 200 minutes. We can drag that one into our drying loop and then hit next, disable the automation, and we're done. So now when we tap our tag, RC4 has been detected. It goes ahead and asks, washing or drying? What are you doing here? We can tap either one of those options and it goes ahead and sets that timer for the corresponding time that we desire. And that's gonna be it for this video, guys. And I've just gone ahead and shown you the very basics of what you can do with shortcuts. The sky really is the limit and you can get so much more in depth. So go off, have a play on your own. But again, if you'd be interested in more of these kinds of videos, looking into some more advanced options, then let me know in the comments section down below and I will be sure to do that. I'm using these automations all around my house, ranging in complexity from something quite simple to something a lot more advanced. So if you want to see them, then let me know. Anyway guys, my name's been Robert, this has been Review Clue, and I will catch you in the next one. Adios.